hello welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making some scones here I have got 600 grams of flour a level teaspoon of salt Three tablespoons of custard sugar, I've got one packet of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking powder, it's just sultanas, so I've got a plate full of sultanas here, you can put as many or as little as you want. I've got some dried apricots here. Took out eight. I've cut out seven, so I've just left one to show you. So that's dried apricots that I like having them. So I've got seven chopped up uh, dried apricots here. Right, next, I have got 125 grams of uh, butter. So you just need to just in a half packet what we need to do is now cube this up so just holding it so once we've cut up our butter what you want to do is just just get them into between your fingers like so and rub it in so we're going to keep on doing that until all our butter is rubbed in to our flour first. So in between your fingers, you just all you're doing is just rubbing it like so. Okay, once you have rubbed all the butter into the flour with your fingertips so that you get like a breadcrumb effect, next we're just going to in the middle here pour in some milk got 300 mils here 300 mils of um, milk as you pour in the milk in just we want it, all the um, flour to come together just going to give it a mix first gradually and stir until it looks like as if it's like a wet um, dough so that was 300 mils so this is looking good Now what we're going to need to do is turn this onto our work surface. Okay, just lightly dust up your surface and then just pour your mixture on top of it. I think I'll get rid of this spoon actually. Onto our work surface. And then we just want to work on our dough. If you see it's too wet, just add a little bit of flour. If it's too dry, uh, then add a drop of milk in it. Just want it so that it all comes together. You don't have to have the fruit in it, you can make it plain. You can make it more sweet if you want. This is, isn't going to turn out very sweet at all. But then you've got all the fruit inside. And then you would um, serve it with like jam. Or I even like having mine with some chocolate spread. If it starts getting too sticky, just um, dust it with a little bit of flour. And that's all there is to make this um, dough. And what you want to do is just um, open it up. Also, 
once you've opened up your dough then you've got these cutters if you haven't got a cutter then use a glass that would be fine um, I'm, I normally go for the middle size so I'm gonna now before dipping it in um, have your flour ready by you and all you want to do is dip it into the flour and then just cut twist lift and you've got your scones so that's the sort of like thickness um, and that's all there is to it and then just place it onto your baking um, tray again I'm just gonna dip it in and then cut and then once you've um, finished cutting then all the pieces that you've got left over you just pick it up and roll it up, up again so just reuse them again so I'm just going to go ahead and just put my um, and then like I said we're just going to go ahead and roll these bits out again and then flatten it with our uh, rolling pin and then we'll use them again to cut up our shapes um, that's the last one I've got so what you do the last one you just stick it in there and press it in so it hits all the sides And there you have it. So that's the last one. Make uh, uh, that measurement. Just gonna so I've got what have I got? One. I've got twenty one out of that mixture. Okay, next we need to have one egg. Just going to add a little drop of milk onto it as well. Give that a whisk, and that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and just brush the top of my scones. I've got my oven on, so it's preheating oven at 180 uh, degrees for about. Mm, about 10 minutes until they're golden colour. You can get the kids to help you making these. Um, it's good fun and they can cut other shapes as well if they like or they can make their own shapes. If you've got cookie cutters let them play around with it and make their own shapes. So just brush them all with this egg wash one because I do like eating them on their own on its own as well rather than putting some cream and jam on it so just brush them all and then put them into a preheated oven at 180 degrees which is about 350 Fahrenheit uh, for about 10 minutes here we are I've just had mine in the oven in the middle shelf at 180 degrees which is 350 Fahrenheit uh, for about 12 minutes seriously about 10 minutes that's all they need up just by the time I um, did my um, cleaning and washing and they were done so basically that's how they are lovely like I said I like mine with plenty of fruit because I do like eating and playing but that was the last one that we did Get your kids to help you in the kitchen. Get them to make their own shapes. They'll have lots of fun. And that's how it is underneath. So we're just going to take them out. Made in no time. You can serve it with, um, like I said, chocolate spread, jam. I've got honey and I've got jams. And that's just serve it like that. And then people can just spoon out whatever they want onto their um, scones. You can have it plain, like I said, all that lovely fruit inside. 
or you can cut it and put some jam and cream or just butter I like to eat mine just like that or you just um, go ahead and put whatever like I said I like my um, chocolate spread so I'm going to have a bit of chocolate spread There we are. Enjoy. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.